jump to the category attribute now. So category is nothing but uh, basically you will be grouping a test cases something like uh, smoke testing, regression testing, user acceptance testing. So you are grouping your test scripts and you are executing that particular uh, Selenium C sharp automation scripts. So the syntax for that is just you need to write for the test you need to just group into that particular group. Uh, I mean. Uh, this test method one is there so i need to assign this assign this particular test method one to the some group like uh, smoke testing regression testing like that so for that you need to use uh, test comma then you need to use a category as a inbuilt keyword under that you need to specify the name this particular test method one belongs to the like in my case, uh, I'll write uh, smoke testing. So test method one belongs to the smoke testing category. And in the same way, I'll specify total I have three test methods, te test method one, test method two, and test method three. Now the test method one is belongs to the smoke testing category and in the same way i will write test method 3 for the smoke testing category so this is the name you can specify anything ba based on the need or you can specify the any module names like that also and i'll specify test method three, 2 as a belong to the regression testing category Yeah, that's all so just you rebuild this particular solution and you will be li getting listed over here like what are the different categories of test cases we have just clean it first time because if some conflicts are there it will it is going to get deleted and after that just go and rebuild the solution So if you look at here, so it is first one uh, based on the category, it is listing all the test scripts. So regression testing and the smoke testing. We have defined total two groups. First one is a smoke testing and second one is a regression testing. Under smoke testing, we have two test methods that is test method one and the test method three. So these two test methods are listed under the regression testing and one more group we have regression sorry smoke testing and one more group we have regression testing under this particular category we have only one method called test method 2 that is listed under the regression testing here so you can execute any of the groups right click on that particular group and say run selected test so only smoke testing selenium c sharp scripts will be getting executed So in uh, smoke testing, we have two test methods that is a test method one and a test method three. So only those two test methods will be getting executed. This is how you can group your uh, Selenium C sharp scripts and you can execute based on the need. You can group like uh, smoke testing, regression testing, UAT testing and based on the model name like module 1, module 2, 
model n you can create as a groups based on the need you can execute that particular models and uh, you can report the result as well Now the test method 3 is getting executed. In my case, uh, today I have uh, internet connectivity very slow. So that's the reason it is taking uh, too much of time now if we look at here you'll be seeing all the results see and here it you can see that uh, how many seconds it has taken to execute test method one and uh, test method three as well so if you go to this particular icon here you can see the list of options so based on this also you can group your test cases in my case it is uh, by traits we have grouped the test case test, test scripts and say for example if you have multiple projects you can select as a project based on the project wise all the test scripts will be getting listed over here in the left side and based on the class if you say class so in my case only i have test cl test class if you have n number of classes based on the class it will list under all the test scripts under that particular class so based on the duration so it will it will list you the all the test methods if it is first category is uh, greater than one second and uh, one more category will get uh, greater than uh, 100 seconds and all so based on the time taken it will list you the all the test methods based based on the outcome passed or failed no run test scripts so in my case pass test are two and no run test as uh, test uh, scripts are one likewise you can group your test uh, test scripts so just i'll make it to the traits only so it will list me the all the uh, group wise selenium c sharp automation scripts that's all for the category attribute this is how you can categorize your uh, selenium c sharp and unit uh, scripts